Hello guys, so in this video I want to talk about a second problem from Menker's uh, chapter 2 and the problem is the following. We're going to have a nine topologies for a set that consists of three elements. So we have a set of uh, the set X with elements A, B and C <clears throat> and we have nine topologies which I'm going to call like tau 1, 1, tau 1, 2, uh, tau 1, 3 and etc. So the second uh, row is going to be tau to 1, tau to 2, and the last topology is going to be over here tau 3, 3. Um, so what is the idea is already right now we're going to have that topologies and we need to compare them. Um, I'm going, let me first give you a definition. What does it mean like uh, that we want to compare two topologies? So let's take a uh, topology, let's take our set X and on the set X we're going to take a uh, topology tau 1 and tau 2. And I'm going to say that tau 1 is going to be comparable to tau 2. If we either have the tau 1 is going to be a subset of tau 2 or tau 2 is going to be a subset of tau 1. So, for example, let's take topology uh, tau 1 1. So what does it mean? It means that we have our set X and our topology, as you remember, is going to be a subset of power set of X. And power set of X is going to contain eight elements since uh, original set X has three elements. And elements are going to be the empty set, uh, a subset that contains one element A, and also we have subsets that contains elements uh, B and C. Uh, and for example, another element is going to subset the subset that contains elements A and B, and etc. And then tau 1 1 is going to be the choice. And from this diagram, you can see you're going to have the original uh, set X, which is that circle with those three dots, and an empty set. Uh, the reason why we have the empty set is because that's one of the axioms for the topology. And after that, as soon as we know what is our tau 1, 1, you can see that tau 1, 1 is the smallest topology. So that's why tau 1, 1 is going to be comparable to all other topologies, as, for example, you can see that tau 1, 1 is going to be subset uh, is uh, going to be a subset of tau one two. So in other words, uh, some topology is comparable if uh, one open set uh, for one of the topologies are also going to be open sets to the other topology. And uh, to finish the problem by comparing all the nine topologies, uh, for example, if I'm going to take the topology uh, tau three one, uh, this topology is going to be comparable to other topologies who is going to contain uh, the original set X, uh, the empty set, and this uh, subset that contains elements A and B. And uh, from this picture over here, you can see that uh, tau 1, 2 is going to work, tau 3, uh, 2 is going to work, tau 1, 3 is going to work, uh, tau 2, 3, and tau 3, 3. So uh, topology tau 3, 1 is going to be comparable to five other topologies. Additionally, it's also going to be comparable uh, to one extra topology tau 1, 1, because tau 1, 1, 1 in this case is going to be subset, is going to be a subset of tau 1, 3. Sorry, tau 3, 1. And another concept that we need to talk about for this problem is the finer. And we're going to say that tau 1 is going to be finer than tau 2 if only one option is going to be uh, is going to hold and that option that tau 2 is going to be a subset of tau 1 so that's why you can see that tau 3 1 is going to be finer than only one topology that is tau 1 1 because again tau 1 1 is going to be contained uh, in tau 3 1 all other topologies tau 1 2 tau 1 3 uh, tau 3 uh, 2 3, 3, and 2, 3, they're going to be, they're going to contain tau 3, 1. So that's why uh, they're going to be finer uh, compared to tau 3, 1. Okay, as a summary, what we discussed in this video, we discussed that if we have the same set X and that set X, we're going to impose like different topologies, then we can compare them. And we're saying that they're like comparable if one topology is subset of another topology. And we said like that if we have two topologies like tau 1, tau 2, then tau 1 is going to be finer than tau 2 if tau 2 is going to contain in tau 1. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and have a nice day. Bye.